Election day in Illinois is three weeks from today. With a wide open race for the next Cook County State's Attorney, candidates in the Democratic primary are starting to go on the attack. WGN political reporter Tamon Bradley is here with that story. Tamon. Micah and Ray, this contest has been a little bit under the radar. There was just one televised debate and only a handful of forums. But with the two candidates raising a combined one and a half million dollars, we can expect they will use, put that cash to good use as the campaign winds down. It's the main event in the Chicago area March 19th, the Democratic primary for Cook County State's Attorney. This morning, candidate Eileen O'Neill Burke broke the spending cap when she and her husband contributed more than $100,000 to her campaign. Now unlimited money can flow into the race. O'Neill Burke is using her money on TV commercials like this one going after her rival. Politics as usual or the change we need? Clayton Harris is a political insider. He's an anti-union corporate lobbyist. O'Neill Burke, with 30 years of experience as a judge and prosecutor, is running on a platform focused on safety and justice. The message has won her the backing of the Chicago Tribune, and so far she's raised the most money in the campaign. Clayton Harris III is the Democratic Party endorsed candidate. He's a lecturer at the University of Chicago and former aide to Mayor Daley and Governor Blagojevich. His message is fairness. I know the fear that violent crime will harm the ones we love is all too common. As state's attorney, I'll prosecute violent crime appropriately. On the campaign trail, the candidates have said they differ on outgoing state's Thank attorney you. Kim Fox's retail theft policy. Fox does not prosecute retail theft as a felony unless over $1,000 worth of goods is stolen. Harris said he will continue the policy, while O'Neill Burke wants to go back to the $300 threshold under state law. After two terms of Fox, who was a lightning rod for criticism, political analyst Paul Lisnick says voters are paying closer attention to subtle differences among the Democrats. Ordinarily, uh, the Cook County State's Attorney's race, like other Cook County races, would be a slam dunk for whoever the endorsed candidate is. But this time around, people are looking more closely at what happened with the Jesse Smollett case under Kim Fox. So this time around, people want to see change. People are looking to see what will be different as, as life moves forward here. Whoever prevails in the Democratic contest is expected to win the general election. The Republican candidate is Bob Filretti, and the Libertarian is Andrew Kopinski. Mike Henry. Thank you, Tamon.